So I just done watching Honor's keynote at MWC Barcelona and instead of announcing new devices, they actually announced a plan. Let's talk about it. What's up guys, Jason Smash Pop here. So as you can see, I'm not holding any devices just like Honor, not announcing any devices, but instead of a plan, okay? So what is this plan about? It's basically called the Honor Alpha Plan, which is basically a roadmap whereby they are transforming themselves from being a smartphone company to being a global leading AI ecosystem company. So as you know, currently we are in the intersection of digital Digital and also the AI era and Honor sees this as an opportunity to basically bring in human-centric technology to actually elevate human potential even more. So the Alpha Plan, there are actually three steps, okay? Let's talk about it step by step. Step one, Honor will actually make an intelligent phone that can bridge the AI ecosystem with all consumers, basically like what they are doing now. And they will be working with industry partners like Qualcomm and Google to open technology boundaries so that they can co-create a new paradigm for AI devices. This basically means they need to reinvent smartphones and also other smart devices like PCs, tablets and more. Step 2, they will be opening up the industry's AI capabilities by providing a platform for wider range of devices. This means there will be a collaboration among different platforms and all of these platforms will be working together for the human race. And step 3 happens when we reach the AGI era. So at this point, we will actually be able to witness the coexistence between carbon-based life and also silicon-based intelligence. Basically means human and machine together. So in order for all of this to happen, Honor actually pledged to contribute up to USD $10 billion okay, in the next 5 years to make all of this happen. And they are also providing 7 years of OS upgrades okay, for their flagship devices. Besides all those, they are also trying to achieve carbon neutrality by 2040, which is 15 years to go. Yeah, so within these 15 years, they will be doing a lot of saving the earth. So apart from all those, during their keynote presentation, they also presented 4 key areas okay, of AI technologies. The first thing is Honor's latest GUI-based personal mobile AI assistant. So basically what this means is Honor will be tweaking their AI to work with AI assistants, for example, Gemini, for us to quickly do things by using our voice. So for example, if you want to book a movie ticket, you just tell your Honor smartphone and Honor smartphone will be able to book those tickets for you based on a certain uh, app or even software so you don't even need to think what software to use. And if you want to book a holiday or even a hotel room, Honor will actually check your calendar and appointments and also the weather to make sure the date and also the day that you are booking this trip and also your hotel room will be the best one. Next one is AI image, or you can call it AI image, but combined into one word, okay? So basically, they're transforming their photography services and also technologies into this AI image technology. It features the AI kernel, which is basically industry's first solution to support device cloud AI large models, and is able to support up to 1.4 billion parameter model to generate a 50% uplift in image clarity. So basically, what they're trying to do is they are improving photography by generating better and also more clarity images out of just photography camera lenses can do. So in order for all these AI features to work, they need to work with AI partners, for example, Google Cloud, for all these things to happen. And apart from that, they are also introducing AI upscale. Basically, they are helping humans like us to upscale also to increase clarity of our old portrait photos. And they are collaborating with Snapdragon, for example, using the Snapdragon 8 Elite mobile chip. And last one is Honor Share. Basically, we know that we use Honor Phone, we can share with other Android devices. But because of the cross-platform technology that they are building, we can soon share files with iOS and also Mac devices. So those are basically a few key takeaways from 
what I saw from Honor's presentation or their keynote at MWC Barcelona in 2025, okay? So if you don't understand any of this, don't worry because when they roll out all these services, all these new technologies, I'm sure they will be able to educate us a little bit more, okay? So stay tuned to their Facebook, to their Instagram and more. So if you love gadget videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe button is below here. Please click and also press the bell button. Share this video with your friends and follow me on all social platforms. My name is Smash Pop and I'll see you in the next video. Yo!